Birdman and today we are talking about vector art. So sometimes you work in Harmony but for some reason you need to export it to Flash. I don't know why. Or other vector software that support the SWF. So how do you take your scene and export it as a SWF? This is what we're going to cover today. Of course before you do such exports, I can't stress it enough, read the documentation. I have it right here. So exporting Flash SWF movies. Sometimes you need to do that maybe to import an After Effects or other software or just Flash directly. So this is how you do it. There's a limited amount of vector and bitmap effects that you can put. This is because, not to brag, but Harmony is a more powerful vector software than Flash is. So there's a lot of things that Harmony can do that Flash cannot. And this is not me being a jerk. This is just facts. For example, in Harmony, you can have pencil textures. Flash doesn't understand that. And you know, cutters, auto patches and stuff like this is also not something that SWF will understand. So if you want to export the SWF, please do, but there is the following uh, things that you have to take in mind. So the pencil line thickness will be exported, however it's going to be converted to brush strokes. The exporter is going to do it for you, but I always recommend doing it yourself so that you're sure that everything is fine and you don't have any nasty surprises. The, if you use an auto patch node to patch the joints between two parts of a color character, it's going to work. But be careful if you have a very complex rig with like five layers of auto patch and cutters and color varieties all messed up together, it is not going to work well. I swear. The burning node is also going to export. And if you're using compositing with like the blending node, always make sure that your blending node is set to SWF. Yeah, and you know, if you don't want to watch my video, you also have a complete guide here to <laughs> do it. <laughs> but yeah, back to the video. I have this image that I made. I already uh, I already converted the pencil lines to brush strokes, so I shouldn't have any problems with that. Um, you know, I'm, And you know, I'm just using an image, so it should all go well. And if you go to the exporter, um, you can go here to file export and you're gonna find SWF so you can just click on it and then it's gonna take you to this window and you know you can choose where you want to export it always make sure you choose the right display that you want to export and then the option you have the FPS I really recommend keeping the same of your scene but sometimes you need to make changes and that is all right for the JPEG quality if you choose 100% it's gonna be 100% in quality so these are in percentage if you choose one your image is gonna look like barf so you know you can keep it as 80% is usually fine but if you want the the most quality thing you can write 100 and you're gonna have no quality loss in that um, export and you're gonna have the least amount of quality loss in the export if you want to prevent your file from being exported to a another kind of software you can use protect from import I never had to test it out personally but I know sometimes people want to keep their SWF like in their pipeline and don't want it to be used other outside so you can also use that if you want you can also use the compressed movie option if you want to have a lighter file but know that there's gonna be some quality loss in that and here you have some little options that things you might not want to export so that's all you have to choose and then when you press ok it's going to export I mean I already had the <laughs> file but you know I'm just gonna override it and uh, yay I have my SWF export I don't have flash on my computer so I can't show you the result but you know that's what you would do and then the last little note if you go to your node view I'm going to press enter and go get a blending node. In the blending node, if you go to the properties, there is the SWF blend mode. This is what you need to use if you want to export your blending node as a SWF. If you just set it like this, it's not going to consider it, okay? So SWF is the one you want to use if you have a export that you want to make. So I hope this was helpful and I'll see you again next week for another tutorial. Yay!